Hello, this is Andrew with Missing Remote. Today's the day for UDM and UDM Pro users. We are finally getting the 3X release. Uh, there are a lot of changes. I'm going to talk about some of those. The big things are explicit WireGuard VPN or user configurable WireGuard VPN. Uh, WireGuard has been in the client or in the uh, available to UDM users for a little while, but you had to use um, Teleport or the UID VPN in order to get it. I think the biggest thing to know is that if you're using this from an IPv4 space, it works like WireGuard. If you're trying to use it from an IPv6 space, like a mobile phone that doesn't have an IPv4 address, it has the same limitations where you need to set up an IPv6 address for the client, but you can't really do that. Or I haven't been able to figure out an easy way to do that. Um, if you've seen my guide on how to set up uh, WireGuard VPN, I walk through how, how that works and discuss some of the nuances around that. Uh, so you can go check that out. So in, it's awesome that it's there, very awesome that it's there, but it's not as useful as it should be. So before we dig into the improvements or talking about any of these other stuff, anything else, just want to say I've been running the EA releases for 3X for I think as long as they've been available. And I've, I, I don't have any issues. It's just as stable as the 2.5 release that you need to be on, whatever the latest one is. Looks like 2.5.17 here. I am not aware of any significant issues moving from 2.5 to 3. I personally haven't experienced any issues. I've been very pleased with the stability and feature set that is available in the 3.0 release. I'm thrilled that we can finally talk about it. Let's talk a little bit about the improvements. They claim that the application page has been redesigned. I don't, I think that they redesigned it in 2.5 when they redid the, the whole system layout, you know, when we moved it from the container based approach to the running on the metal approach. And I think I mentioned this in the 2.5 video that I did, but I, the, the running straight on the metal approach, as you would expect, is way less resource intensive. The issues that I was experiencing where my protect instance would occasionally flake out or my network instance would container would occasionally flake out. I haven't had any of those problems with 2.5 or 3. It just runs all the time. I don't have to bounce the UDM every now and again. I've kind of got off track here a little bit, so let's get, it, let's get back to what we were talking about. They added an ad blocking feature. This kind of works like if you're running a pie hole. I haven't had an opportunity to play with this because I have a couple pie holes on my network and I just don't really care about using their stuff because it's not as configurable as running my own pie hole. Some of these other things I wanted to talk about is they added these new DHCP client options. The, they're not very useful to me so I can't test them out. My understanding is that they are for authentication for some fiber-based ISPs, mostly in Europe. I don't think I, I have at and fiber. I don't think I can use these to not use my ONT and the crappy router that they gave me. If I find out that I can use these or something else to get around that, I'd be more than happy to flip over to that because I don't like running that extra stuff and again, I'm kind of getting off topic. Uh, Debian, the Linux operating system, the version distribution that the UDM runs has been upgraded to Bullseye, which is uh, Debian 11. Uh, Node.js has been upgraded to not the most recent version, but still a more modern version. Uh, SQL has been in updated. The password thing is kind of interesting. It does not, it, there's a new requirement for 12 character and strong passwords or stronger passwords. This does not impact existing local accounts. It only impacts new accounts. There's been a couple updates around traffic identification, GOP da GOIP databases and Suricata. Some PPPoE connection stability improvements. Unfortunately, well, not unfortunately because I don't, I'm glad I don't have to use PPPoE. Uh, I can't test this because I don't use that. Uh, hopefully it actually does work. And the final thing here is that y it is going to update the access point firmware to this 6.5.30 version. I, I don't see that as a problem, but if it might be if you're running really old stuff. I'm not sure how that works. It might deprecate 
to things. I don't know. If somebody has can chime in with what the actual implications are around that, uh, please do. I usually run the latest stuff anyway, unless I know that there's a problem. VPN, they added WireGuard. Talked a little bit about that. It's awesome. I hope they expand the functionality to make it a little bit more useful. And then there's a bunch of bug fixes. But these, these bug fixes are mostly specific to earlier three releases. I don't know that they specifically address any issues that people were experiencing in the 1X or 2X versions of the UDM. With this version of 3.0.20, you get Unified Network 7.3.83. It's fine. It worked okay. I'm actually not running this. I'm running a, a newer version of network because it's coming out eventually, hopefully soon. There are some improvements coming with that. Unfortunately, I can't talk about it because it's in EA. So we'll just go with this. Is, this works just fine. I wouldn't be worried about it at all. In general, I would say again that I've been very pleased with the stability and functionality of the 3.0 release. I don't see any reason not to upgrade. Uh, you will need to upgrade through to 5.17 in order to get there. I think most of the sketchy stuff that potentially exists was sorted out with the 2.5.17 release. So I, I don't really, s I'm not aware of any major issues why anybody who has a UDM or UDM Pro would not want to get on three as soon as possible. I know this got a little bit longer than the usual stuff, but I hope you found it useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.